on everybody so i'm back from the video hope everyone's having a great day so ios 16.2 came out earlier today so i'm going to be telling you guys five changes with this new update so first off we now have apple music sing and basically this is a karaoke feature in the apple music application so you will need to pay for that apple music subscription every single month to actually use this feature obviously and also you do need to be running an a13 device or above to actually use apple music sing so um here's kind of what it looks like right now so it doesn't work for every single song at the moment they're going to be adding more and more in the future but as of right now they even have their own category so i'm in sing the hits right now uh, which was updated yesterday so here are a bunch of songs right now but to actually enable this feature what you want to do is go to any song click on the lyric icon in the bottom left hand corner and you will now see this little microphone or karaoke mic icon right there so you just have to tap on it and this little HUD volume bar or HUD uh, bar will come up basically is the adjustable vocal so whoever is the uh, lead vocal for this song we can actually raise their volume all the way up or Obviously, if you want to use the karaoke kind of feature, you may want to turn it down to at least halfway or maybe 25%. So you guys can kind of mess with that as well. So next, we have a huge security change in our iCloud. So if we actually go to our settings application, click on our name right here, head into iCloud. There is a new option here called Advanced Data Protection. So we can now go into that. And basically what this is, it is a, it's an end-to-end -end encryption for all of your data in iCloud backup. So it basically shows you what's included right here. So your message black, uh, backup, your notes, photos, and basically you guys can go through the list right here. So this is a basically a huge security update for Apple devices. I know a lot of people have been kind of complaining about Apple security lately, and here it is. We now have advanced data protection. So if you actually do want to turn it on, you can turn it on right here, set up a recovery, um, and kind of go through that if you would like to. So next we have an airdrop change in iOS 16.2. I don't personally like this change as well as a lot of other people, but basically if we actually uh, go to the airdrop setting right here and we tap on the airdrop icon, originally it would just say everyone, but now it says everyone for 10 minutes. So you're basically limited to um, how you can receive and send airdrops to everybody. So uh, I know a lot of people are complaining about this already with this update uh, coming out earlier today. So um, sucks that when you're at the airport you won't receive like funny memes or anything like that anymore uh, basically after the 10 minutes after you enable this it is going to just automatically set it to contacts only after the 10 minutes so next in iOS 16.2, we finally have live activities in the Apple TV application right here. So we're currently watching the um, Warriors and Bucks game right here. So we can click on follow and basically it will add it to our live, live activities um, lock screen right here. So head to my lock screen. There it is. We can obviously allow that and we can show it every time when we lock our device. And for those that are running the 14 Pro and Pro Max, you will have it on your dynamic island right here, which looks pretty dope. And also another feature with the TV application, if you go in your settings, TV, scroll all the way down to live activities, there is a new option right here where it says more frequent updates. So basically it is obviously going to send you more real-time information, but it did say that it will drain your battery life faster. So just note that if you're going to enable this feature. So for those that are currently living in India and have an iPhone, we now have the ability to enable 5G. So we've been waiting a very long time for this feature to come out and it's now here in iOS 16.2. So it was disabled via software due to the infrastructure over in India, but now we have it in iOS 16.2. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is the five updates in iOS 16.2. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. It's basically it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.